Hi everyone. A few people on Twitter have asked me how I made this 3D book animation in Game Maker, so I thought I'd make it into a video tutorial. The first part of this tutorial will only explain how to make an animated primitive. If you understand how to do this already, feel free to challenge yourself to make it based on this image without any other instructions. For this video, I'll be using a script called Twerp. Twerp is a script for easings made by Pixelated Pope, linked in the description. Easings are useful functions for creating smooth movements over time. Create an object called Page and put it in a room. In the create event of our object, create a variable called Move and initialize it at zero. This will store the time of our animation. Create a variable called Segment Number for now, I'll set it to 10. This will store how many vertices the side of a page has. Create a variable for the page width and the page height. Now create a variable called segment length. This will be equal to page width divided by segment number. This will store the distance between two vertices along the edge of a page. Now, in the draw event of our object, set move to be the minimum of 1 and move plus 0.01. .01. This will add 0.01 .01 to move every frame until it reaches 1. Then we'll add a keyboard check for space. Every time this is pressed, we'll set move to 0, which effectively resets our animation. This will be used for testing. Then we'll create a temporary variable called x and y. This will be the x and y offset of the inner edge of our page. Then we'll create a variable called page direction, which will set to zero, and page bend, which will also be zero. Page direction will store the initial angle of the curve of the page, while page bend will store the angle increment between each segment of the curve. Then we'll set our draw color to white and begin a new primitive with the type of PR line strip. PR line strip will draw a line between every vertex we provide and we also have to end the primitive with draw primitive end. Then inside the code for our primitive, there will be a for loop that goes from zero to segment number. Each iteration represents a segment of the page being drawn. Now we'll draw a vertex our x and y temporary variables, and we'll add our page bend variable to page direction. We'll add the length dirx of segment length and page direction to our x variable and do the same thing for y, but with length dir y. Length dir takes a magnitude and a direction and converts it into a vector. And then the x and y functions can take the components of that vector. The vector we're adding in our code has a magnitude of segment length and a direction of page direction. Now we'll create two new variables, start direction and start bend. These will store the positions of the first of three keyframes of our animation. Now, if we set the page direction and page bend to our start direction and start bend variables. Now, if we run the game, you'll see that this just creates a straight line. This is because our page direction is zero, which is pointing straight to the right. And our page bend is zero, so the page direction never changes and vertices keep being added to the right. Then we'll create two new variables mid direction, which will be 160, which just points to the top left, and mid bend, which will be minus 180 divided by segment number. As we loop through the for loop, mid bend will be added every time and it will end up being added segment number times. So at the end, we'll have a 180 degree bend, which looks like a semicircle. And if we set our page direction to mid direction, and our page bend to mid bend. And if we run the game, you'll see a semicircle that starts pointing to the top left and bends 180 degrees towards the right. Then we'll create an end direction and end bend variable set to 180 and zero. The end direction being 180 will mean that it just points to the left, while the end bend being zero will mean that it just doesn't bend. And if we set our page direction and page bend to these variables, if we run the game, you'll see 
we just have a straight line pointing to the left. Then we'll create a new variable called to middle, which will be move clamped between 0 and 0 0.5 multiplied by 2, which will mean that to middle will be between 0 and 1, while move will be between 0 and 0 0.5 without going under 0 or above 1. Then we'll create a new variable called to end, which will be move minus 0 0.5 clamped between 0 and 0 0.5, multiplied by 2. This will mean that 2 end will be between 0 and 1, while move will be between 0 0.5 and 1, without going below 0 or above 1. Now we'll use this variable by setting page direction to be the interpolation between start direction and mid direction over 2 middle. This means that while move is going from 0 to 0 0.5, the page direction will go from the start direction to the mid direction. And if we run this, you'll see the page bend is zero, so the page remains flat, while the page direction goes from the start direction to the mid direction, which is zero to 160 degrees. Now, where we had mid direction, we'll interpolate from the mid direction to the end direction over two end. We can do this because the to end variable only starts to change once the to middle variable has stopped changing, which is when move has gone above 0.5. And it will start to interpolate from the mid direction to the end direction. And now we can do the same thing for the page bend variable, where we interpolate from the start bend to the mid bend using to middle. And then replacing mid bend, we interpolate from mid bend to end bend using to end. And if we run the game now, you'll see that it interpolates from the start variables to the mid variables, and then from the mid variables to the end variables. Now that we have this, to make the motion more fluid, we'll use easings. We'll use twerp to ease from 0 to 1 using our current to middle value, with the easing type of inquint. In quint will just be slow when it's at zero and then speed up towards one. We'll do the same thing for to end, but using out quint instead. This will start fast and slow down towards the end. This will mean that as move goes from zero to 0 0.5, it will speed up, and then as it goes from 0 0.5 to one, it will slow down. And now if we run this, You'll see the motion is extremely smooth and more pleasing to watch. As it starts slow, speeds up to the middle, and then slows down towards the end. Now we'll go back to where we're drawing our primitive and change PR line strip to PR triangle strip. This will mean that instead of drawing a line between every two vertices, every time a new vertex gets added, it will draw a triangle between the last three vertices that were added. This means that if we add another vertex at y minus page height, PR triangle strip will zigzag between the bottom and the top of our page, drawing triangles everywhere they're needed. And if we run this, you'll see that we now have a full page. This will be the end of the first part of the tutorial. In the next part, I'll explain how to convert the primitive into a vertex buffer and a shader. Thanks for watching. To be notified about the next part of the tutorial, please subscribe to this YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter at RowanFuture.